than 100 books have tried to tell us all about Marilyn Monroe's love life, her movies, and how and why she died. But now a new documentary looks at the Marilyn that America didn't know, revealed through pictures never seen before until now. Others were as physically beautiful as she was, but there was obviously something more in her, something that people saw and recognized in her performances and with which they identified. In life, she was every man's fantasy. In death, she was the ultimate mystery. Marilyn Monroe, Life After Death, is a film that claims to be the real story behind the world's most famous sex symbol. What you see is a Monroe outside of this slandered woman, outside of this woman that was an alcoholic, outside of this woman that was a drug addict. Anthony Green, who produced the film, presents a funny, warm, courageous Marilyn, largely through these never-before-seen photographs and film footage taken by his late father, Milton Green. Marilyn, she loved being in front of Milton's camera. They created an aura, an image for her. They created uh, a belief, an innocence, that she turned, she became Marilyn Monroe. The film depicts Marilyn's unprecedented move to form her own corporation outside the studio system. Edward R. Murrow asks her about that in this live interview conducted while she was living with Milton and his wife Amy. It hasn't been seen since it aired in 1955. Well, would it be fair to say that uh, you got rather tired of playing the same kind of roles all the time and, and wanted to try something different? Well, I, it's, it's not that I object to doing musicals or comedies. In fact, I rather enjoy it. But I would like to do also dramatic parts, too. Mm -hmm. uh, once outside the studio system, Marilyn made two of her most acclaimed films, Bus Stop and The Prince and the Showgirl. Milton's personal camera caught this behind-the-scenes footage of Marilyn in her co-starring role with Sir Lawrence Olivier. She was your fantasy, and there isn't a man in the world that doesn't appreciate that. She As a close friend to the movie star, Amy Green says the saddest part of Marilyn's story is that nothing like it will ever come again. We were the last innocence, we were the last elegance, we were the last remnants of the American dream. You guys wind up with Madonna. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, Life After Death, premieres in New York on Monday, Los Angeles on Wednesday, and in the rest of the country, one